Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Noel, and I just leaked, finished week two of the Minimalist Game, round two. I did this last year and I am now redoing it again to clear out more stuff for my house. Week two is still pretty easy, but it's getting a little bit harder. I had to dig a little bit deeper. I had to open some bins in our storage area. I had to kind of start evaluating things a little bit. I know that week three and four will be much harder, um, but it's a good start and it's a good way to push yourself a little bit. You're not just looking on services. You have to actually open things up and really think about, do I use this? Do I love this? Is this a part of who I am now? Am I living in the now or am I living in the past or holding on to something for the future? What is this side observing me? And can I just let it go? Like, would the world be okay if I just let it go? Sometimes the answer is no, but typically the answer is yes, typically. So this is what I got rid of in week two. All right, day eight. This is a childhood doll of mine that my daughter just doesn't really play with and she has her own dolls. So again, letting go of my past, that is my, my xylophone from my childhood. Again, letting go. She, my daughter has a smaller, nicer looking one. So we're going to let go of the big clunky one. A little stuffed animal, some baby socks, that extra pacifier, and then our candy melt machine that we probably used less than five times. Day nine, I'm letting go of all of these kids' songs, cassette tapes. We do not have anything to play cassette tapes on, so um, they will actually be going to grandma's house because she does have a cassette player and Maddie does enjoy music. So not everything has to go into the trash or to goodwill. You can give it to a family member who will actually use it and utilize it. Day 10, I went through some clothes. A lot of these are actually, some of them were things my daughter outgrew and then some are things that were given to us in bigger sizes, but I just don't think she's going to wear them. So we're gonna let go of them. There's also a unopened pair of earrings there that are too heavy and I know that I would not wear them. So I decided I won't even open them. I'm just going to give them away. Day 11, more kids clothes. Some she's outgrown, some she just isn't going to wear. A little cup that we used to drink from at our grandma and grandpa's house. It has been on my shelf for one year and I looked at it for one year and then I took pictures and I'm letting go another craft pattern because I am not going to sew things like that. Um, a baby sleeper from when I was a baby, cloth diaper from when Maddie was a baby, and her little leash that we don't use anymore. Day 12, I went through some of our homeschool things for kindergarten and realized I have way too much curriculum. So I'm letting go of some of the extras that we've collected um, and there's some clothes that don't fit me anymore. Um, a, a mouse pad, I don't use a mouse pad anymore. Uh, um, DVD, I don't watch. A bunch of plastic baby clothes hangers and the little gingerbread mold. I have tried making gummy things in it and they always break. So it's just frustrating. So I'm going to let it go. Day 13, now this is a, a smattering of things. A skirt doesn't fit me, some baby clothes. Um, there's paintbrushes. I went through some of my preschool files. So there's several stacks of paper. I kind of counted each stack as one item and just some random materials, the little folder that held all the preschool stuff. Just again, letting go of some of those past things that, you know what, I'm not going to be going back to work at a preschool most likely. And if I ever was, I wouldn't be using those old materials. So I can freely let them go. Day 14, I was given this beautiful binder that my sister made, but I just, I'm not going to use it. And so we're letting that go. Um, there's several stacks of paper again. And then I did go through some earrings that I, I will not wear and some little doodads from the kitchen, little all sorts of little pipettes and scoops and things that we just, we are not going to use. So that is what we got rid of in week two. So there you have it. I challenged myself a little bit and I let go of some kind of hard things this week. You don't necessarily want to start with the sentimental stuff. You definitely want to start with the easier things. 
um, the more non-emotional things, but I've really pretty much done our kitchen and bathroom. I, you know, I found a few things, but for the most part, I kind of have to go more into the sentimental stuff and the ideal self stuff because kind of all the other stuff is already done and gone. So <laughs> mine is a little bit harder than if you were just starting to declutter your house. Let me know in the comments if you are decluttering your house this June and what you are hoping to get rid of in your goals. And we will see you next week for week three.